Welcome to our next build site. Indonesia, Australia this way. Or Indonesia, Singapore, Indonesia. A Brunei, Malaysia, Indonesia. China, Vietnam off this way. Philippines off this way. Uh, we are in maritime Southeast Asia slash West Oceania. Slash the island bit. The island bit where all the islands are. Look how much we've built. Look at all this. Like, after today's stream, it's just South America. It's taken almost three years. Jesus, people have been building. The first thing I can see off the bat, someone's actually created the green screen stream already. <laughs> oh god, it's me. Oh, the tether and the sheep. This is Marie. Bless. Welcome to the Philippines. What's going on? Information. Support. I want to build free. Feel free to add buildings. Currently clearing some land. Bless you. It's actually a really nice looking port. Yeah. Lends itself well with the, like, the island geography. Set up your docks now. There'll be a lot of kind of coastal builds and ships. And of course, there wouldn't be a build in the Minecraft server without a Tesco. What's this here? Long... Longaniza? Uh, Longaniza is a Spanish sausage similar to chorizo, Spanish pork sausage. There are over 144 variants of it, and this is the kind that is traditionally found in the Philippines. How, how do we represent the Philippines? I love this sausage. Oh, uh, otter guy, he's got a hat and his whiskers. Oh, he's so cute. Shout out once again to the neckwear headwear. Hello, I'm Planet Lore. You might have seen me floating about the server before from the Netherlands, but I'd like to tell you the story of my Indonesian grandma. She was born here on Java. Her dad was Dutch and her mom was Indonesian. Back in that age, Indonesia was owned by the Dutch. Uh-oh. <laughs> Historical footnote. Uh-oh. <laughs> because of that, she learned to speak Dutch from a young age. Came from a very rich family. She had a servant that took care of her. But at only eight, a uh, world war broke out and her family uh, and her were taken into a war camp. I won't go into detail for obvious reasons. Five years passed. When they were finally released, they had nothing. No money, nothing. Luckily, they found another family. I don't really know what happened around this time. When she was around 20, she wa she wanted real work. She and her family uh, traveled by boat to the Netherlands. They already spoke the language, so it, it made sense. Eventually, she met my grandpa. Such a lovely guy. Miss him. They had two children. One of them was my mom. And now there's me, a blonde, blue-eyed gal. Grandma's still alive and kicking. She's 88 years old. She loves pink, so I want to make this pink. Thank you so much for reading. Oh, God, love her. Bless her. Based grandma. <laughs> I don't know if grandma's gonna know what based means. Based grandmother, based. Based on what, dearie? <laughs> uh, welcome to Jakarta. Uh, Monument National. The, the Monument National is a 137 meter high tower in the center of Jakarta. It symbolizes the struggle for the independence of Indonesia. The monument is located on Medan Merdeka. Visitors can take the elevator up and have a good view of Medan Merdeka Park, uh, the Istiqlal Mosque and the city. At the bottom of the monument is an exhibition about the struggle for independence and the history of Indonesia. Oh, that is lovely, yeah. No, uh, no, this isn't- this is an Irish spire. No, stop that slander. That's not just like, uh, like, like, Indonesia spire. It's not. Because this has an actual purpose and function. This actually does something and represents something. The Irish spire symbolizes money. And that's literally it. This has actual thought and purpose put into it. A, you know, it's like a, a, a historical exhibit, as well as a landmark, and also offers you a view of the city. There's a lot going on here. Oh, the bee! Oh, he's a big boy and he's got his beehive. He's having the best day. Oh, he might be on his way to um, McDonald's now on water as well. Totally not a secret room. <laughs> Stuck here for 15 years. It's not a fleshy interior, but it is Ronald McDonald's prison. Hey, what have we got here? What's going on? Uh, a merline? Go inside for the heart. Merline is a mystical creature and an iconic symbol of Singapore. It is a creature with the head of a lion and the body of a fish, combining the characteristics of both animals. The name merline is a portmanteau of mer mean sea and lion. That's really cool, yeah. So, like, a history of, like, merline, like, iconography. It's come to symbolize Singapore's history as a fishing village, represented by the fishtail, and its original name, Singapura, meaning Lion City in Malay. Oh, is that where it comes from? Lion City. <laughs> you think at some point they were like, fellas, we gotta rebrand this. People think there's just a bunch of lions that are gonna kill them every time they come in here, right? Uh, the jewel at Chang'ai Airport, is it? It's the world's largest indoor waterfall. Okay, hang on, I, I kind of want to look that up. Hang on. That that just doesn't look real. That's insane. That that does not... That doesn't look real. It looks like the future. Yeah, it does. Marina Bay Sands, aka the boat building. Is it? Is it just a big boat? 
Hang on. I, after the waterfall, I feel like we have to look this up as well. I have seen this before. Wait, I, I guess I can see why you're calling it the boat building. <laughs> I can see it. Uh, welcome to Yishun. Yishun, or Nisun, is a residential town on the northeast corner of Singapore. It's named after an industrialist named uh, Lim Nisun, who made his fortune from the rubber and pineapple plantations he owned in the area. He's known in recent times for drug activity, vice activity, cat murderers, yes really, rat problems, allegedly people with stun guns, other assorted crimes, but it's actually a pretty chill place to live. There's two pools here and a hospital. I live here, I know, trust me. Drugs, cats, rats. But hey, check out that pool. We have some kind of statue here. T-posing fella. It's supposed to be Jesus. But me, the original T-poser. I welcome, if you're reading this and you're standing on a super volcano called Toba that erupted 69,000 uh, to 77,000 years ago. Largest eruption on Earth for like 25 million years. And that's a long time. This eruption was a cause of a volcanic winter which cost a lot of lives. Oh, you think why there's a Jesus statue here? That's because they want to build a statue on the island. No clue why, I saw it when I visited. Also, there was more to Lake Toba. Uh, just too lazy to write a whole essay about. I like how you take the time, it's like, there's way more I could say here, but I can't be arsed. And now that's immortalized forever. It's like you look up a Wikipedia article, and it's like, oh yeah, like, let's see, like, what, what insightful information? YouTube, if I know. What is these, like, fantastic, like, colorful stairs? What is this leading up to? Batu Cave under construction. Original has 272 stairs and was complete around 1920. Wait, it looks fantastic! The entrance here. Uh, what is this? Giant laser of death. There is no historical context to this build. I just wanted to build a YouTube place. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, no, look, you, you, don't, you don't need to add a detailed history sometimes, right? Like, yep. Yeah, just live your dreams. RT. RT merch. Shop merch inside. Chatterbay mask number one for $500. RT's Dark Souls streams on VHS. Take a photo with RT. Why, why am I in a prison cell? What are these guys? A, a battery? I, I don't know what these are. Like a spaceship? Five? Like a... Is that a Game Boy Advance SP? It's Pikmin, is it? Why, why is there a, like a large battery? <laughs> Pikmin, they've added this. Like, RT, you stupid, uncultured YouTube. It's obvious what it is. The girl sadness Loomis theme from Mario Galaxy. Oh, that's like perfect. Like the pacing of it. That was wonderful. Thank you for that. I won't die. Oh, it's this is the new start and soon screen. This is the black hole. There's the spire going in. Like just some Minecraft bits like I'd have tossed in. There's the meteor. Like just again, like just, just for reference. <laughs> oh, there goes the spire. Why is, it, why is there so many supply boats? I miss Vermont. Would well, love to find a baguette store right now. That giant duck, the next location. How much longer? I stay for fishing. I think we're gonna hit a house. Oh, there's like they're like sailing over here. Oh, here's the giant duck as well. He's amazing. This peckin' duck. Was seemingly quite unimportant. It's actually a very important figure in some parts of Eastern Asia. Its name is Floofy, and it's known for being an, an unimportant figure in Eastern Asia. And it's actually just my pet duck. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, Dab, I asked you the name, I knew a pet duck, and you named, picked Mrs. Quackles. I'm currently in the process of getting her, plus two other ducks, Peach and New Duck number three. Go with my other five ducks, Floofy, Ollie, Skull Crusher, and Joe Duckson. <laughs> Look at this Skull Crusher and Joe Duxon. Oh, it's like a miniature scale island here now. It's all been built up. Hello. Maluku is an Indonesian province centered around Saram Island. It encompasses the central and southern islands of the Maluku Islands. The Panda Islands are at the center of the province and are famous for uh, Gun Ung Api, an active volcano. They're also known for nutmeg trees, which, are, which grow the plant of the same name. The islands were once owned by the Dutch and they used to trade islands to trade spices. Uh oh. <laughs> the Dutch. They're at it again. What does this island look like? A stegosaurus, Herobrine lizard, Godzilla. <laughs> Just take, like, it's a survey. What is this island? I kind of see, like, a little dinosaur fella. What is I? It's a massive pink 
Oh no, this is the Barbie dream house. There's the unfinished balcony. Oh no. Oh, why have you chosen to do this? It's the garage that's like completely unpainted. See nothing in there. Cool island dwellings that have been set up in this one. Yeah, they've gone for like a very different approach. He's like the, the volcano. One of the active ones. Mount Murapipi. Jump in for lore. Ah. Located on the border of central Java and the region of Yagyakarta. Apologies. In Indonesia, uh, Gunung Murapi or Mount Murapi is among the most active volcanoes on Earth. According to Javanese mythology, Murapi originally sat not in the middle of Java, but also on the island's west end. It was known as Gunung uh, Jammer Depot. Balanced the island, the gods ordered the mountain moved to the center of Java. Two armorers, Empu Rama and Empu Pamadi, were forged in a sacred kris, a type of asymmetrical dagger from Java. When they refused to leave, the gods buried them beneath the relocated volcano. And in death, their spirits became the ruler and guardians of the mountains, which was renamed Merapi after the after the pair and their heart. Best friend lives in the city of uh, Yogyakarta, around just 17 miles south of Merapi. Been planning this build for when Indonesia's build area opened up since the newer builds began. Uh, John, if you're seeing this, thanks for sticking around all this time. Can't wait to meet you in person this fall. Your exchange is gonna be great, I promise. Just don't freeze in the less than tropical weather over here. LMAO, love you, dude. Gar, oh bless. Very best of luck to you. I hope you have a fantastic time together. That's very sweet. Kind of built like a little temple or like fort structure up here. Like a really tall tower. No secrets here. <laughs> I tried. I'm sorry. He looked scary. Who is this? Originally an ice cream shop, Jollibee's Yum Burger, originally Magnolia Ice Cream House, opened in the Philippines in 1978. Apparently, Jolly the Bee is, re is to represent the joyful nature of the Filipinos. So th this is a fast food chain, is it? The Better McDonald's. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it, but that's fascinating. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, how's Laura getting on with the island here? Bless you. You got like a whole garden. Me and grandma. Ah, oh, bless her. Oh, she's got the walking stick. That's very sweet. It's very cute. Oh, the bees are like, there's more of them now. Build a bee. <laughs> Not quite as popular as build a bear workshop, but honestly, it should be. Why has someone done this? Oh, look at the bear! Yum, fish, om nom nom. Polar bear is sad because she lost her home due to climate change. Oh! Oh, poor little Minecraft polar bear. Beetle shop ship as well. It's very cute. Oh! Thank you! We really do like kind of change gears a lot on the server, don't we? It's like, oh. Or bear. Oh! The shard from Mirror's Edge. Oh, that's what that is. Not relevant to the region, just want to make it. To make it. That's, that's completely all right. Yeah, the, the, I mean, this structure is looking really cool. It's like got such a presence. Uh, this is lovely. So this is the port town. Look how this has come along. There's like a real sense of community here. Like, this is actually great. I love this. I just like, like seeing how like, like this even started. I love to have some story behind this. Just want an excuse to show the new flowers because I think they're pretty. Honestly, that's all you need. That's all you need. It's so built up. I, I love when folks do this and come together. Like, this this just looks great. It's so cool. Oh, God, they made it like a full-on, like, Pokemon stadium. Water-type gym. My hand hurts so much, I'm so glad I only have one. Oh, no. This is built by one hand, Ryan. <laughs> this is really cool looking, though. This is where the gym leader puts all her stuff. It's an impressive structure, yeah, I really like that. It's your Tesco so you can get a meal deal before you challenge the gym, you know? Working together. The average person has less than two hands, if you think about it. Gua Maria Bucket Canada? Is it like a shrine or something? It, it, it looks really peaceful. I'm not entirely sure I understand what it is. Is there a door? Nope, that, that door is painted on. Can't read. It appears to be a shrine. Mary, is it? Uh, but it looks something like that, see? Very pretty. Better's house. Normal interior inside. Normal trapdoor. Probably my final build, so thanks for visiting. Hey, you're finally awake. I think this is the first fleshy interior we've seen today. This is the first one. Whoever said they have four hands, I'm coming for you, says one hand Ryan in chat. I'm coming for one of those hands. I'm gonna take it from you. Oh, Baguette Corp's back again. Of course. This is their new station. Port Baguette. Barracks. Some of you may die, but we're okay with that. What, what's going on in Baguette Corp? I thought they're just like a bakery 
chain, like, you know, Cuisine de France or something. How many people are, like, perishing here? Oh, look at the duck gang as well. There's, like, an arsenal of these that have been built. <laughs> what is wrong with this duck? Oh, I, I don't know how I feel about that one. Building an Art Deco build. You know me from the humble home? Sorry about the lack of any history. No, all my builds have been on an iPhone to help me. Not even an Android user. iPhone user. I don't know how people do, are even capable of that. The only mobile game I can really play is like Pokemon Go and Super Auto Pets. And like, that's it. My grandma is okay with me building a Jollibee at our home. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I, I just wouldn't worry about it. Den for my sister. I was forced to build it. Bless ya. This is very cute. Rowlet having a fantastic time. Oh, here's SpongeBob. It's slightly submerged. There's not enough ocean depth for it. Lives in a pineapple in the sea. Definitely not SpongeBob. I don't want to be sued. Really cool kind of ship. Wait a minute, guys. I know this one. That's the Naruto, ain't it? This structure, I mean, this one is not going to be finished before the end of the stream today, but holy YouTube, just look at it. Like, the, the scale of this is crazy. Look at that. That's so cool. It's so colorful. Again, that, it, it, that just doesn't look real. I think it's like the really bright, vivid colors on like a very like almost like nature scene. It's so cool. This is the inside of it. I, like that that looks like a movie set Philippines slash Brazilian embassy work in progress I don't know if I'm actually on the Philippines but I just wanted to build this for some reason Filipino people and Brazilians are very similar culturally even though we are almost a world apart it's probably due to colon colonization uh, colonization or something but since we now got to build in the area I built this little embassy as a note to that hey there Filipino brothers well, that's, that's that's very sweet is what is just here for symmetry lol International relations here. Yeah, this is a gorgeous garden. This is just so pretty and peaceful. This looks so nice. The house is still under construction. This is like the main property, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's so cute. I love the garden. Like, there's the bush pattern. That's so nice. Here's a Zapka. A Zapka. Hey, it's me, the Frogman. They've been building a convenience shop, something like a 7-Eleven. It's a Polish brand named Zapka. Zabka. The name translates directly to froggy slash frog. That's needed to keep your frog dosage in check. It's not an Asian build, but it's a frog build. Hope you all like it. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks for being creative. Frog shop. Frog shop's been established. You have our app. The tired clerk. Oh, God. The amount of times I've been like, Hey, do you want to sign up to our GameStop Plus membership program? You can save money on your game trade-ins. Oh, no, no thanks, man. No thanks. I'm okay. Are you sure? But if you join today, you'll get a uh, gold premium plan for the membership card. And you can stack the points up on your purchase on your membership. No, no, really, I'm good. Yeah, me too. It's always like a businessman in a suit somewhere. It's like, the kids are gonna love it. Thank you, everyone, for taking part on the server as ever. But with this build, this marks us have been completed Asia. All that's left now is South America. We are in the home stretch of the New Earth project.